Liberal Fox News host Geraldo Rivera has had a meltdown, folks, and he is done with the network. Before we get started, please make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Those little things really help us out, and they help our channel continue to grow and spread the conservative message. Geraldo Rivera appeared on Fox and Friends on Friday morning, and there was a huge send-off for him as he's now done with the network. But it wasn't so nice the night before. On Thursday night, Geraldo shook up the internet and the media world by announcing what actually happened that led to him being gone from both The Five and Fox News. If you'll recall, Geraldo initially said that he was fired from The Five, or he actually didn't say he was fired from The Five. He just said he would no longer be appearing on The Five, but would be staying at the network as a correspondent at large. Well, Thursday night, he had a meltdown. It was all on the table. He absolutely left nothing to the imagination. He let everybody know what happened. He said that he was fired from The Five, and infuriated by that, he actually quit Fox News after it. It's a rather interesting video, especially the location it was taken in. It was kind of not really professional, but let's take a look at it anyway. Off Jones Beach Inlet. See the tower? Very, very bumpy. Lumpy day, lumpy day out in the uh, North Atlantic Ocean. So off Jones Beach, heading for the World Trade Center. Making pretty good time. Anyway, in the holiday rush hour traffic, I probably go faster on the boat than you would uh, trying the Long Island Expressway. So it doesn't look like I'm going to be on the five. I mean, I'm not going to be on the five. I've been fired from the five, and as a result of that, I quit Fox. So. I'll have more to say about that on Fox and Friends tomorrow morning. Thank you. Now, I'm not a fan of this. If you get fired from a network or you leave a network, you should do so on professional terms. But I also believe that Geraldo probably realizes he's done in the industry. I mean, he's almost 80, probably just going to hang it up and retire. He's very wealthy. He doesn't need to do anything anymore. So I think this is going to be what he does. I think you're, this is the last you've probably seen a Geraldo anywhere. Now, that being said, again, I don't like the way he handled it with the video. However, on Friday morning, he was all tears and emotional as Steve Ducey and the hosts of Fox and Friends, you know, paid tribute to him. And they also showed a montage video of Sean Hannity, Jesse Waters, and a host of other hosts and Fox News personalities wishing Geraldo well and telling them how much he, they love him and what an influence he was on them. And so I think that might have disarmed him a little bit. So anything negative he might have said on Friday, I think he was disarmed by that beautiful tribute. And it was a beautiful tribute. So, I mean, there you have it, folks. Geraldo, gone. Who's going to replace him? Who's going to be the liberal voice on the five? That's something that I think we're going to have to wait and see. I believe it's going to be Jessica Tarlov. But I'd love to know what you guys think, so let me know in the comments who's going to be the new liberal host on The Five. Ladies and gentlemen, again, I'm Carmine Sabia. This is Explain America. We love you guys. God bless you. Take care, everybody.